The rivalry between Ayrton Senna and Alain Prost remains one of the most riveting and intense in the history of F1. These two giants of the sport engaged in a battle of talent and will that encompassed personal ambition, contrasting racing styles and profound cultural differences, creating an enduring narrative that defined an era of the championship. Senna and Prost would both go on to win multiple world championships in what was a golden era for F1 racing. Their Suzuka showdowns of 1988-90 attracted record worldwide audiences and popularised the sport as never before. In the aftermath of these incidents, the Senna-Prost rivalry took on an even larger dimension. Their clashes weren't merely about wins and championships, they became a reflection of their starkly contrasting personalities and driving well, philosophy. It's going to be a constant attack, attack, attack because Senna has got everything to gain and nothing to lose. And our cross can see the McLaren Honda of Senna being in his mirrors. It's a rivalry that transcends F1 and one that will always be mentioned in the conversations for the greatest battles in the history of the sport. In retrospect, the Senna-Prost rivalry stands as one of the most dramatic and consequential in all of sport. It transcended the confines of the racetrack, transforming into a narrative of ambition, risk, defiance and ultimately tragedy. Both Senna and Prost left an indelible mark on Formula One. Their shared story, a compelling reminder of the heights of glory and the depths of contention that can coexist in F1. Before qualifying for the 1990 race had even begun, Senna lobbied track officials for pole position to be moved to the left and onto the racing line. He believed he'd got their consent, but after claiming pole position, he was told he would start from the right-hand side of the track once again. Senna saw the hand of FISA president Jean-Mary Balest in the decision, the same person he blamed for his disqualification from the 1989 race. Senna was seen as a passionate and ruthless competitor, willing to push boundaries to win. His performances, particularly in qualifying and in wet conditions, were extraordinary, cementing his reputation as a supremely talented, almost mystical figure in the sport. His tragic death in 1994 at the San Marino Grand Prix further solidified his status as a legendary figure.